Etev, this is Mia Yah with the Vaseki Arts Temple. And today I want to talk to my sisters about our dress code. And I feel like we really need to be more aware of our dress code as women. We as women are the mothers of civilization. We are the mothers, the teachers, the nurturers, and help to build our families and our bodies, our sacred temples, our bodies are sacred temples. There are people all over the world who are exploiting women's bodies and even little girls' bodies. And we have truly lost that mindset of honoring and respecting women and our bodies. And a part of it is our thoughts because we're not respecting our own bodies. When we look at ourselves as sacred temples, we will honor the things that we dress ourselves with, the things that we cover our temple with or not. And um, at this time, I'm seeing women who are very... Um, open and free about the way they're dressing, not just to the club, but to the grocery store, the libraries, the church, everywhere. Women are dressing with these skin tight clothes and um, revealing much of themselves to the world. And um, it's something that I just wanted to bring up because it is creating or adding to a mindset of, um, belittling women and seeing women as sex objects and we are so much more than that and I really want my sisters to think about that image that they are displaying to their sons to their daughters to their mothers and fa family everyone you know is this really the image of a woman that you want to set for yourself and that you want to display to others. Um, I'm a 70s baby, so when I was growing up, I had the honor to see women who were very graceful, elegant, honorable, and beautiful in the way that they dressed, the way that they carried themselves, the way that they behaved. It all um, worked together. These women were wearing silk and linen to go out to the club to beautify themselves and just were very stunning in all ways back in the 70s. And it lasted up into the 80s as well, but then things began to change. And I remember as a child driving with my father and seeing um, a row of prostitutes and all the prostitutes had short skirts and you know their chest hanging out they were wearing wigs and a whole lot of makeup fake eyelashes and nails and all of those very very high heels and these were the prostitutes and that was the way that they dressed and everybody knew it any woman who walked around like that was basically seen as a woman of the street and now in this day and time most of our women walk around with big wigs. I won't say most, but too many of our women are walking around with these big wigs, you know, fake everything and looking like prostitutes, like they are trying to sell their bodies. Um, and, you know, I'm, it's not just my mindset. I've heard men talk about it. I've heard comments um, about, I believe it was the last CIAA um, tournament in Charlotte and it's a, a big gathering for black people of all different ages and from all different places and I heard the brother saying like the men really look good but the women were looking really trashy because a lot of them just had on these skin tight garments and really looked cheap and bad and you know it's it's really sad to hear that those comments coming about our sisters. And we don't have to, 
you know, we don't have to be like that. We don't have to go out like that. So let's just um, take a time to regroup and really think about, you know, how we're appearing to others, how we're presenting ourselves and what that um, presentation brings to mind to others, because I'm not sure that everyone is doing that when they go out dressed um, in different ways. So um, I just wanted to put that out there. You know, I like to promote health and wellness in all ways and wellness for our community is um, having women who are strong within themselves and don't see themselves as sex objects. Women who see themselves as goddesses and super women and um, respect their bodies and their children enough to, you know, cover themselves. Um, there's a time and place in everything for everything. There is a time and a place for everything. So just consider that. And until the next time, you know I love you all. Peace and blessings.